the aim of today's practical is measurement of diameter of star chain. And for this, we need stage micrometer. So it's a glass slide where we can see uh, a circle is there and scale is placed in between this. So uh, this uh, stage micrometer, we have to keep on the stage uh, here. Uh, if we enlarge it, we can see uh, the scale is of one mm, one millimeter, and there are 100 divisions are there on this scale. As we know that one millimeter is equal to 1000 micrometer, so as there are 100 divisions, so 100 division is equal to 1000 micrometer. So 10 division is equal to 100 micrometer and one division is equal to 10 micrometer. So each division of this stage micrometer is of 10 micrometer. So this is the requirement is we need stage micrometer. Stage micrometer uh, here we have used is one mm, uh, one millimeter. Uh, length or the scale and 100 divisions are there and each division is equal to 10 micrometer. Then we also need eyepiece micrometer. We call it as a ocular micrometer. Uh, so this is a circular and this is an eyepiece we can see. We need to place this uh, uh, eyepiece micrometer into this eyepiece and this eyepiece is placed here uh, on a microscope. And if we enlarge it, it will be like this. Uh, same as what we saw about the stage micrometer. 100 divisions are there and each division is equal to 10 micrometer. As what we saw in the stage micrometer. So eyepiece micrometer is also having uh, 100 divisions and each division is equal to 10 micrometer. So depending upon uh, the lens which we are using, we need to calibrate the eyepiece micrometer. So uh, if we look through eyepiece, here we can see this is eyepiece micrometer and this is stage micrometer. What the next step is that we have to calibrate the eyepiece micrometer. So what we are going to do here, we are going to see superimpose the, uh, the first line of eyepiece micrometer uh, scale. Uh, this blue, uh, if we say the blue is eyepiece micrometer and the red color is stage micrometer. So what we're going to do here, the first line of eyepiece micrometer, we're going to superimpose with the, uh, the line of any line or the first line. Here I have superimposed on the 20th uh, division. So zero line is on the 20th line of the uh, stage micrometer. Uh, once they are superimposed, then we have to see that which one of the next uh, division or the line is coinciding with each other. So if we uh, see it, if we again enlarge it, then we can see that uh, suppose this is uh, eyepiece, black color is eyepiece micrometer at scale and the red is stage micrometer scale. So if we see that uh, divisions, so this is zero line. So here it will be first division, second division, third division, fourth division, fifth division, sixth division, seventh division, eighth division, and ninth division. So if we see on ninth division of the eyepiece micrometer, we can see the line of stage micro, mi micrometer is coinciding. They are superimposing again. Uh, whereas in case between, if we say that they are not superimposing. So here on the ninth division of the eyepiece micrometer, we can see the line of stage micrometer. So now we can count the uh, divisions of uh, stage micrometer. So we'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th. So the 10th division of stage micrometer is coinciding with the ninth division of the eyepiece micrometer. So this black was eyepiece micrometer scale and the red was stage micrometer scale where we found that the ninth division of eyepiece micrometer coinciding with the 10th division of the stage micrometer. So here we have written nine division of eyepiece is equal to 10 division of stage micrometer. So 10 division means one division is 10 micrometer. So 10 division will be 100 micrometer. So nine division of eyepiece is equal to 100 micrometer. So one division of eyepiece is equal to how much? It will be 100 divided by nine micrometer. So one division of eyepiece is equal to 11.11 .11 
micrometer. So this is a factor. This is a calibration factor. So we have to remember this factor. Now, uh, what uh, as we have to determine the uh, diameter of starch grain, so we will be taking ginger powder here, and uh, if we dilute it and observe under microscope, we can see the ginger uh, starch grains like this. Uh, otherwise, what we can do, we can also uh, make the suspension and add iodine, so starch grains will get blue color. Uh, if uh, you are not able to identify, but very easily we can identify it. So a pinch of uh, ginger powder we need to take in the test tube and uh, we have to add the glycerin water, uh, glycerin and water in one as to two ratio we have to take and make the suspension of it. Uh, then take a drop of uh, this suspension on a slide uh, and spread it and observe under microscope. So uh, I have, now I have removed the stage micrometer. Once the calibration is done, remove the stage micrometer and the prepared slide where we took the drop of uh, uh, the suspension and spread over the slide. That slide we need to keep over a stage and we have to observe through uh, eyepiece, uh, my eyepiece. So eyepiece is having eyepiece micrometer. So we can see now, uh, we can see only one scale because stage micrometer is already removed and we have kept the uh, prepared slide there. So we can see starch grains, this blue color, you can see starch grains uh, and this is a scale. Now it is IP, so you can move it as per the direction uh, or as per the presence of starch grain. So here I have tried to show some uh, starch grains, blue color. Uh, now we can see this uh, starch grain and uh, if you want to determine its uh, diameter, so uh, we can see that this uh, particular starch grain has covered one, uh, one uh, uh, division and extended to next division. So if it is more than the uh, half part extended, then we will count it as a two division. So this will be a two division. So uh, similarly, we can see here, uh, this is one division, this is two division. So this diameter is for, uh, the diameter of this is two. So two division we will count. And similarly, 25 different readings we have to take. Uh, so here I have taken 25 readings. Uh, so suppose the first uh, starch grain uh, was of uh, one division, it was uh, uh, fit into one division. Then the second starch grains in two division. Likewise, these are the divisions. So we can uh, take the 25 different readings and then calculate the average. So average of this 25 reading, suppose it, it's coming 2.04. So these are the divisions. Now, as we have calibrated it and in the calibration, we got the factor of 11.11 .11 micrometer. So diameter of star grains is 2.04. We will multiply it by this factor 11.11 .11 micrometer. So we'll be getting the diameter of star grains is 22.66 micrometer. So by this way, we can measure the diameter uh, of uh, uh, starch grains. Uh, this method is also used to determine the uh, measurement of uh, length and width of fiber. It's also used for uh, measurement of uh, calcium oxalate crystals. Uh, so by using the stage micrometer and eyepiece micrometer, we can measure the diameter uh, and length and width and uh, also calcium oxalate crystal.